Hi Aquarius, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina and I'll be getting you some messages today. Let's see what's going on in your energy and uh, what your angels and guides might want to tell you. Before I get started, I'm going to send out some healing to you. Take a deep breath with me. You ready? Wow, I needed that for some reason. I've been doing readings all, all morning and the Reiki didn't hit me like it just hit me. Anyway, here we go. Let's hear, get your cards. We have three of pentacles. Ten of swords. Oh no. Uh, this, oh, justice. Does this mean it's going to be a heavy reading that I needed that Reiki, extra Reiki? <laughs> the magician and the king of pentacles. All right. Oh, Aquarius. Okay, so right off, let's start off with the the yucky part here. Ten of Swords. Something's dead done over with. Either some kind of a betrayal or some kind of just ending. They wanted to make sure it was finished. Um, you know, could be that you were stabbed in the back. But I don't think you have to worry about it because justice is here. So when justice comes in, that means that balance will be restored. So whatever hurt us, like something good will come from it. You know what I mean? It's it's a, a positive that comes from a negative. So like the scales of justice are here. You could be dealing with a Libra. Um, but I just feel like whatever's dead done over with, it's not a big deal. I feel like it's it's you're going to have something really positive from that. All right, so the Three of Pentacles is here. So that's the teamwork card. So maybe you were working with somebody and you're no longer working with them. Or, I don't know. I don't know, but you are manifesting a miracle right here with this magician here. It feels like you're really praying for something. And to be honest with you, the King of Pentacles says that you can have whatever it is you're manifesting. You can... The, the King of Pentacles has the Midas touch. So everything he touches turns to gold. So I feel like whatever you touch kind of works out for you. So I don't know. Like I'm feeling like this sadness from you or this, this like life is unfair. But yet it, in reality, things work out for you like they do. But you're not seeing it. I don't know if you're focusing on all the betrayals or all the backstabbing or all the endings, whatever this is. I don't know. Um, you got to focus on the King of Pentacles. You got to shift your focus to that. Like, fo switch your focus to, I'm the King of Pentacles. I have the Midas touch. Everything I touch turns to gold. You know, even say that every morning if you have to, till you believe it. And once you start believing it, it'll start manifesting. You got to, manifesting is all about feeling. That's the key to manifesting. You got to feel good in order to manifest good. So I think that's some really good advice. I think I'm going to take that myself. I think I'm going to start saying, I have the Midas touch. Everything I touch turns to gold. I know. The divine knows I need it <laughs> right now. The divine knows I need it. So <laughs> everything I touch turns to gold. Here we go. Let's get that. Let's get that energy rolling, right? Let's get that ball started. <laughs> let's get that snowball started. All right, let me get you some cards here. Everything I touch turns to gold. I like that. I'm going to say that. You know, I always say I'm 100% healthy. Now I'm saying everything I touch turns to gold. I'm going to add that to my mantra. <laughs> Um, yeah, you're feeling alone. Why are you feeling alone? You're not alone. You know, you're not alone. You, not only is, you know, source with you all the time and, and your angels and guides here are helping you and supporting you. You have people in the physical world that you can reach out to, but you just don't. You're not alone. You can ask for the help that you need if you, um, uh, I don't even feel like it's I feel like it's just support, some a shoulder to lean on. I feel like you, I feel like you need your friends. 
And once once that thought just came into my head, like I think you, I might have told you this last time, something about your friends. I don't remember the readings. I really don't. But for some reason, like that was like, oh, you said that before. I think you need your friends. I don't know. Aquarius, I don't know. So you do though. Uh, what did I tell you about this energy? This energy is good. It's turning in your favor. You have good fortune here. But you're so in your head. You have so much anxiety. <sighs> like it's like when something doesn't work out for you, like that's what you focus on. And, and that's what you're attracting more of. Okay, we got to stop that. You really are the king of pentacles. You really can make magical things happen. Like if you, I mean, just look at yourself. Look, look, look back. Look how far you've come. I'm telling you, you've really made some great strides. I feel like you have. Don't focus on this. Okay, so we have the death card here. So something's got to change or something's got to end. Something is done. You got 10 of swords and the death card. So something is definitely done, dead, done and over with. And I'm sorry if that sounds harsh. Um, we got to let it go because you're getting justice for it. Something positive is coming in from that. Like I said, you're the Midas touch. You're, you're the king of pentacles. You're manifesting that stuff. So let's keep that manifestation going, right? Let's manifest the good stuff. The crane bag. Okay, so the crane bag is, it's, okay. So what that is basically is mermaids carry this bag called the crane bag or so the legends have it. I don't know. Um, but anyway, in this bag, they collect things that mean something to them. It could be a shell or a shiny object, but they collect these things that make them feel good, right? They're good luck charms. They're just things that they could take out and hold when they're feeling down or depressed and it makes them feel better. It's their lucky charms, okay? So it's like, all right, they, they hold this object in their hand and they're like, okay, my luck's going to turn around now. So that's what you need. Like, And it could be just like a crystal or something that you keep in your bra or in your pocket. And, you know, every time you're feeling like a little bit of anxiety, you hold on to that and you're like, I'm the king of pentacles. Everything works out for me and I have the Midas touch. <laughs> you know what I mean? So maybe you just need a lucky charm. No rabbit's foots, though. Those things are banned. <laughs> Poor bunnies. Um, communication is the key. You know, every time when I was little, I would, every time I saw somebody have, you know, because in the 70s, those rabbit's foots were really, you know, big. Um, but every time, I never had one. But every time I saw, like, one of my friends have one, um, I would like just picture all these little bunny rabbits outside, like running around with a missing foot. Is that terrible? And I felt so bad for them. <laughs> and I was like, why would you have a rabbit's foot? Like, they're like, it's a lucky charm. I'm like, no, it's not. It's terrible when you think about it. <laughs> uh, but I had such great empathy even back then as a kid. But I really thought that bunnies ran around with no feet. It's terrible. Anyway. Communication is the key, right? So the communication is the key to every relationship, no matter who it is, whether it's a lover or a friend or even a parent. It's it's being transparent. It's, it's speaking our truth. It's just communicating because people, you know, even though we think that people know how we feel, they don't always know. Sometimes people are dumb. And that's not me being judgmental. I mean, because sometimes I don't know what my friends are thinking or feeling because I'm in my own world, dealing with my own stuff. I don't really have time to think about what other people are feeling. So, you know, I, sometimes I'm dumb to it. Sometimes I'm ignorant to, 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 to the way people feel. So sometimes you got to hit me over the head with it. Sometimes you have to tell me 
right? So communication is the key. If you need to speak your truth, you should definitely do that. But on the other hand of that, you have to expect others to speak their truth back to you. So, you know, it does go both ways. <laughs> um, getting to know each other. All right. So I don't know who this is. I mean, it could be an, a love interest. You know, you need to get to know each other. You need to communicate. You need to talk to each other because the more you get to know each other, the the deeper your bond will will. Um, B. So uh, maybe you're starting to get to know someone. I don't know. That kind of feels exciting. Just be honest and uh, communicate. All right. Your love advice is <gasps> I said this. I said this. And they're like, haha, you're right. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Aquarius, you're manifesting miracles. What is your dream come true? I, lots and lots of money. <laughs> it's my dream come true. No, I want love too. But money's money doesn't hurt. Um, you're about to manifest something amazing. I knew it. I knew it. So stop focusing on this, okay? Get out of this. We got to focus on this, right? We got to focus on this. <sighs> love that. All right, let me get you an Akashic Record card. I might have to read from the book on this one as your advice card. Let's see. We've got the light of the world. That's your higher self there. That's your higher self knocking on your door and you're too busy not being, you're too distracted not to hear your higher self come knocking. So, what does that mean? It means that your divine being, your inner self, your higher self, your soul, is trying to get your attention. You know, though your life may be busy, the opportunity now presents itself for you to move into a higher awareness. You know, your eternal being is one who is approaching you right now, but it's up to you to open the door. You know, you got to let that... Hire self in, you know, they want to help you and guide you and love you, but you got to let them in. Um, through meditation and study, you can own the enormous love, power, and vision. You can make every day sacred by going within. So once you do, you'll be able to manifest those miracles and change your life forever. So there you go, Aquarius. They're saying your soul, your higher self is trying to get your attention for some reason. You got to listen to your gut. You got to listen to your intuition. Your higher soul, your inner being has all the answers. You already know all the answers. You really do. You just got to dig deep for them. Answers never come from the outside. They always come from within. So quiet your mind a little bit. Listen to source. Get that divine inspiration. And uh, do what you got to do here. Something Amazing is about to happen for you, Aquarius. It, it feels really good. Let's get you some charms. All right. I want you to step into your power here. Take take control of your life. Take, take charge. Go for what you want. Because you're going to have a lot of reason to smile. It looks like you'll be working with a soulmate soon. Right? And something... Amazing is going to bloom, like something that you've really been putting your energy into. It's going to take off. It's going to grow. You could be moving or buying a house or, uh, you know, new lease or some, something. There's something about a house here, uh, your living situation. It could change or, I don't know. Your angels and guides are loving you, supporting you, but you need to cut some ties. You need to cut some ties with this. This is dead done over with, whatever this is. We need to move on. Okay. And it could be just a way you were thinking before. You know, it could be a, a uh, you know, the 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 things that you thought of before and that's over with and done with. I don't know. Look, you got more flowers here, more blooming. So something is definitely growing. Something's definitely um, taking shape here. 
Again, there's the transformation, right? The change. Um, again, more cr another crown. Step into your power. They really want you to own it. Whatever this is, they want you to own what you want. They want you to speak your truth. Own own your feelings. Own what you want. Own own your desires, because you're on the right path here. You're going in the right direction. So um, don't worry, Aquarius. I really do feel like the good life's coming to you. It's it's coming. You're going to get your justice. So, all right. That's what I got for you. Give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that helps me, makes me grateful. And until next time, love and light.